today we're making a hearty split pea soup. We are getting to that time of year where we want good, warm, comfort food. So for today's recipe, I'm going to be using, uh, it's about a half of a large onion chopped, and we've got about a cup of that. Three to four cloves of garlic minced. I'm gonna use dried split peas about two cups <clears throat> and uh, you can, that's give or take. So about two cups of the dried split peas, about a tablespoon of our Italiano uh, seasoning. And I'm gonna use half a block of this extra firm tofu. Now, usually I would use the pre-packaged smoked tofu but during covid it has not been available so i'm going to do my own so i'm using about half of this which i have chopped into small cubes and i've marinated it this marinade that i've used is the one that i used for the vegan scallops and i will link that uh, recipe for you so that you can make this too. I'm also going to be grilling these later on before I put them in the soup so that they've got a good smoky flavor and a nice texture on the outside. I also am going to be using veggie broth. Now you can use veggie broth or water or a mixture of both and I'm going to be doing a mixture because we're going to need about eight cups, six to eight cups of the broth so I've got about four so I'll just be whatever I don't have enough of I'll top it up with water and I've got one large carrot diced it is a very large carrot I've got about a cup of diced carrot there and I've taken two smaller uh, stalks of celery and chopped those up too and that's about a half a cup of that So I have started by heating a couple of teaspoons of oil on a medium heat and I'm going to saute my onions until they are translucent and then we'll be adding the garlic and cook for about a minute more. So you can see my onions are quite translucent. I've been sauteing the garlic in there with it for about half a minute. So now I'm going to add two cups of split peas and I just roughly measure. Like I said, we may add more later, but we're going to start with uh, two cups and we want to stir it in. And I'm going to add in my Italian seasoning now. And I've only got about a tablespoon left in my bottle, so I'm just adding it all in. Stirring it up. And then from here, we're going to add our veggie broth. of it and add in another couple of cups and I don't add it all at once. So right about there. So I've added probably about two and a half cups of the veggie broth to the peas. Now I'm going to bring it back up to a boil over a medium heat. And then we're going to turn it down to low and just let it simmer until those peas start to thicken up. So this is after simmering for about 15 minutes on low and you can see the peas are starting to absorb the liquid. However, they are still quite discernible. So at this point, I like to add in more water and you can tell they've still got a long ways to go or veggie broth in this case. So I'm just gonna chug it in there until those peas are covered once again. 
and bring it back up to a boil. I'll put it back up to medium, bring it back up to a boil, and then again, turn it down to low and let it simmer until it absorbs that liquid again. So this is about half an hour later again, and you can see that again, the peas have started to absorb the liquid. However, they are still discernible, um, but they haven't absorbed all that liquid. So I'm not gonna put any more in right now. At this point, I've put about four cups of the broth in, and I will let you know that it you do get a lot better flavor with a broth as opposed to water. So if you can use at least half um, broth, that would be great. You could also add in a little bit of white wine if you like uh, don't go too heavy on the wine uh, it's it adds a little bit of flavor but you don't want to overwhelm it so at this point now that we're getting almost cooked I am going to add in my carrots and I add the carrots and the celery in late here because and the celery because you don't want them to get mushy you want them to have a little bit of bite in that thick split pea soup and at this point I'm also going to add in my smoked tofu now what I've done with this as I said I marinated it and then I put it on my double-sided griddle and cooked it there now if you don't have a griddle that's okay you can use your air fryer or you can also put it on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven on a low temperature and uh, until and turn it a couple times until it is done but you want that um, that cooked on the outside so you get that good smoky flavor um, similar to the smoked meats that you usually have in a split pea soup so I'm just going to dump those in as well and there's little bits of smoked garlic in there so I'll throw that in and we're going to stir it up and we'll keep cooking so at this point I just check it every few minutes I'm going to leave it simmering on low check it every few minutes and if it starts to get too thick I'll add more liquid um, or vice versa if it's not thickening up I may add more peas however I don't think I'm gonna have to add more peas to this I'll probably need to add some more liquid at some point I'm also now going to add some fresh ground salt and pepper just to taste you don't want a whole lot just enough to bring out those flavors so a little bit of salt a little bit of fresh ground pepper and then I'll cover it up again and let it simmer, checking it every 15 minutes or so. So this is another 15 minutes later and you can see we are approaching the right consistency. So I'm not gonna add any more liquid to it at this point. It will thicken upon sitting as well, but it is just about ready to serve here. And it will keep in the fridge for a few days as well and it will thicken in the fridge. So when you want to reheat it, you will need to add liquid to it then, but it's ready to go. And served with a nice piece of vegan garlic toast on the side.